Hey, what's up, guys? It's Lobo here. Last night on stream, I went over the Call of Duty next event and Black Ops 6 multiplayer, Warzone, and Zombies, seeing the feedback, the discussions being made, the good and the bad of all the conversations throughout Twitter, YouTube, and Reddit, and even my own comment section. It was low-key kind of fun because I was seeing different perspectives, you know, agree and disagree, and I agree with some things, I disagreed with other things. But if you guys want more videos like this, drop a like and let me know your thoughts on Black Ops 6 so far after Call of Duty next and what you're looking forward to in the beta. There's a lot of interesting things that I've been seeing. What if we just search up Call of Duty Black Ops 6? It's just insane. Been chilling hype for this open beta, yeah. I am too, man. Literally, I'm gonna be going over some people's thoughts on COD Next, the creators invited, what they did to the game, like, because there's a lot of different opinions, man, and um, there's a lot of different opinions on Black Ops 6 right now that I do want to look into, but like, you know, the first nuke ever, which is honestly crazy, that guy's insane, that's back-to-back -back year that he's done it, the Mastery Camo Grind, Nuketown as well, like the TTK, going over some posts that I talked about last stream, obviously some content creators talking about it, man, because dude... A lot of people are calling out content creators for not being as good as they usually are at their own setups. There's people calling out. There's so many takes right now with the, in the Call of Duty community about the game itself, about the content creators, about COD Next, about the direction that they're going in. And it's, there's so much opinions and things that I want to all hear and kind of learn about. So that's what we're doing today, man. We're just going to talk. I'm excited, dude. I'm actually excited for the beta in two days. Like, I'll be busy probably like sunday and that's really it yeah man like we got a lot of things going on and it's to talk about dude from youtube twitter even tiktok with my post like they're, they're doing decent these two are doing decent a lot of comments talking about verdansk uh mastercraft freaking mastery camos and then we're on reddit as well and we're gonna go over some things that i asked the call of duty community yesterday i got a pre-order still i usually do it early but i wanted to see the actual game before, before pulling the trigger yeah that's valid Th that's what anyone should do nowadays with how gaming is and by that, I mean that the fact that you don't know, like, let's say for Assassin's Creed, right? Assassin's Creed, the new Assassin's Creed Shadows was such a cool concept. People pre-ordered it and then they finally revealed like, okay, what, what actually, like people actually broke down what the pre-order was. And now people are just disappointed for even pre-ordering it and the backlash and all that stuff. Like nowadays you have to kind of be safe. Yeah. You got to play it safe with how you, uh, pre-order games yeah man let's start off on twitter though um a lot of things going on so let's go over to charlie until because he was he was on his shit same with uh modern war zone but dude 3.7 million views on a twitter post that's crazy like if we combine all the views that call of duty next got for out the streamers the videos that were made by people that are not even in there the streams outside of cod next twitter reddit like it, it's crazy bro it's crazy how many people actually paid attention this year because treyarch was making the game but the, I think a, a big part of it is that, like, the marketing for Black Ops 6 has been so good. Like, it's been so good, right? And the leaks and all that stuff, I feel like, just boosted it up even more because it went viral, bro. And we have Sniping 2 from Facebook. I was watching him in my newest video. If you guys haven't watched that, drop a like. Look, dude, this is insane, bro. Insane shots from Scope here. Mid dolphin dive. Boom. And he gets a collapse split, split quad. Oh, he gets a... Oh, he hit marker at him insane that was actually, nasty. actually insane I'm, I'm excited for the game dude i'm excited for the game i already I, I mean i pulled the trigger literally a month ago or whenever they opened up pre-orders but i got the 70 dollars edition usually i get the 100 dollars edition but i i decided to hold on to at least that and I, I think it's honestly worth it man players will be able to talk to their human shields in black ops 6 multiplayer which is honestly awesome if you are able to shit on somebody so hard or like, you know, break their camera so hard that you're able to use them as a human meat shield, being able to trash talk is so it's going to be hilarious, bro. Freaking YouTubers have already said like they're going to do this. And I'm like, yo, that, that that is so smart for content. It looks like Cold War combined with Black Ops 3 or 4. I mean, I would say this. It's guys like there's not just because it's called Black Ops 6 does not mean it's, it's going to differentiate from Cold War. And honestly, why would we even want it to be different? The, like the look of it and all that stuff, because, dude. Cold War and Modern Warfare 2019 had arguably the best looking Call of Duties of all time, right? The only thing that was wrong with them is the sound design if you're looking at it from a visual and like hearing perspective. Yeah, I usually buy Vol Edition as well, but I'm going to buy Standard Edition this year. I think it's more Modern Warfare 3 and Cold War combined. Yeah, like dude, would you guys rather have them experiment movement in a negative way where it slows down the game? Or would you rather have them experiment movement to make it faster? Because look what happened when you know, a, a dev team experimented with movement being slower and being restricted. Nobody played the game. So I don't care if it plays like Cold War. 
I'd rather have Cold War gameplay than Modern Warfare 2 2022 gameplay. I can't buy any edition. It looks really cool, though. Yeah, like the stems and stuff. Yeah, no, that's fine. I think a lot of people need to understand that, like, dude, it is Treyarch. It's not Infinity Ward or Sledgehammer. They have their own unique style. And I think because that we've gotten Modern Warfare back to back now, that the styles have just not like, you know, there hasn't been a unique style that each studio has right now. So a lot of people are just comparing it to the old Call of Duty, but like, or the old, the latest called that um, Treyarch did, which is not fair. It's been four years. Like, dude, I think they did a lot for four years. They brought back classic prestige because dude, they're, they are experimenting technically. I'm excited for this, to be honest. There's actually going to be a, a skill gap. Yes, with movement. That's what I'm excited about. Some people are not excited to deal with, you know, Omni movement. Dude, then don't play the game. Go back to Modern Warfare 2 or Modern Warfare 3. Just stay on those games outside of just slide canceling, drop shot, jump shot. Yes, dude, I think the more skill gap there is within movement will actually separate good players. From my experience, every Treyarch game I play has been really good. Yes, because Treyarch is the best, best dev team of all time now. It, it, there's no question. It goes from worst to best. The worst dev team right now in recent history, I'll say is Infinity War. And then second best is Sledgehammer. And then first is Treyarch. But yeah, we also got the MP Mastery Camel Grinds as well. Gold looks sick. I wish it covered everything. Uh, Diamond, which is literally gold with diamonds on it instead. And then what else do we have here? Dark Spine, which is honestly really sick. I like this camo a lot, right? Like that, there's a, you know, and then Dark Matter just looks, oh, that is beautiful, man. Look at that. Oh my God, that's juicy. Have you played it yet? Black Ops 6? No. But I'm talking about it because I watched, I made a video on it, right? I made a video on it talking about it looking really good. Like, I am excited. A lot of people are not excited and think that it's a cut, copy, and paste of Cold War when it's not. There's Omni movement. The TTK is slower. They literally said that themselves, right? They literally said that themselves. Treyarch, we slightly lower TTK. You're going to die faster than something like Cold War, right? Dark Matter and Diamond look good. Yeah, bro. I'm probably most likely going to rock Dark Matter for multiplayer. Right? And then zombies, I'm going to probably rock the second or fourth camo. But also the new attachment system, right? What they told creators is that there is no con. So I want everybody to look on the right side of your screen. I don't even know if I'm doing it correctly, but look on the right side of the screen where it says the submachine gun and shit, right? There's going to be absolutely no cons to any of the attachments except for magazine. Look, so he's going to go over to muzzle. No cons at all. So we're wondering, why is there no cons for these uh, attachments? Only the magazine sides. Because they want the game to be faster paced. They want more gunfights. They want to make the game more engaging. That is a good thing. This is taking away from camping, taking away from the slow gameplay and how slow matches are. It's going to make you make more progress faster, get into more fights, make you get better quicker. If you think about it like that, because if you're fighting 24-7 within a match, right? You will start to get better after every death or after every kill. I just want a new zombies map. Yeah. Like I, I, a lot of people kind of missed the direction of, um, Liberty Falls. Same with me too. Like I thought it was going to be like that one classic zombie map. I thought it was going to be like the Kino of Black Ops 6. And then the other map Terminus was going to be the five of Black Ops 6. But dude, they designed Liberty Falls as a slower paced, more Cold War like map. And we still haven't seen Terminus and people are calling zombies a flop. We haven't even seen the second map yet. And now, apparently, that they're going to have a third round-based zombies map before the end of 2024. What? That's insane. That's like there's going to be, be no serious meta. No, there is going to be like one or two meta weapons for each category. But if you build your gun right, you could compete. I can already tell. I My way of thinking of this is like why, like you might be, you know, some people might question like, why are they making all these attachments have no cons? So literally every gun is usable and every attachment is usable. And if you did not know, the weapons are not shared anymore. They are not shared. The only shared attachments throughout all weapons are the optics now. So you don't have 70 suppressors or grips and or magazine types and or stocks and all that shit, dude, or lasers. That's really good. That type of fuck always trying to balance out pros and cons is a nonsense. Yeah. Wait, we have eight attachments now. Yeah, we have. Yeah, we have eight attachments. Yes, we do. But the thing is, like, this is maybe with wildcard. We don't know. They, he didn't show the full clip. I like when I can use any guns with no cons. Yeah, like, dude, you guys had to think of it like this. Like, bro, would you guys rather have a one meta gun where you have to buy the battle pass every single season, right? And have to grind it all over again or just be able to use any gun you want, whatever you prefer, and not worry about having the best class setup for that gun?
You just have your own class setup, dude. People always want old COD, but complain like when having no, not having cons to attachments. Old CODs never had cons to attachments. Yeah, literally old Call of Duty. Like I was literally on Black Ops 3 a couple videos ago and making my own class setups beforehand. There was no cons at all. Every attachment did a different thing and had a different purpose depending on your playstyle. And you would just pick the attachment that would work for your playstyle best. It's ridiculous that so many people are complaining already when 90% of us has not played the game yet. We've only seen gameplay, so we don't know how the game's going to be for each other, for ourselves. My whole thing is like, I already know with the Omni movement that there's a movement gap and shit. And the fact that I, I, I'm just a better player when it's faster paced. Like I hate slow paced games. I know that this Call of Duty is already good for me. I'm already set on this game. I'm already sold on the game, right? But the fact is, is that so many people are nitpicking so many things when we haven't even gotten the full experience yet. And all we have to do is wait 48 hours, bro. Even if we get the full experience, it might change because every beta that they do open or early access, they always change something either with the HUD, the UI, the gameplay, the weapons, something could change. And with how they are making this game out to be Treyarch and the devs from Treyarch, it seems to me that they want a faster paced thing. So I, I might, you know, I'm already expecting a movement debuff, but not that huge of one where it's like Modern Warfare 2022. But also, guys, I'm going to be honest, man. Third person is most likely going to be the meta in pubs. If you're not on third person field of view, you are basically fucked, I think. Look how much more you see just, just through this screenshot alone. So you'll be able to see that. You'll be able to see this. You'll be able to see up top and then potentially to the side over here, depending on how fast you're falling, right? And then if you go in first person, look how much you're only able to see, bro. Look at that. I I'm going to be honest, bro. If, if the videos, you know look the video the actual look of the video is fine like in third person i i might just go for third person the entire year bro i'm not gonna lie unless they nerf it but dude you you see so much more other than you know using first person dude like i'm telling you right now if we were in third person right here we could probably see above this you know a little bit above that a little bit of bottom of it maybe over here as well maybe here as well like dude third person is going to be the fucking meta when it comes to pubs, dude. And it's going to be absolutely insane.